Okay, question number 39 um, has us looking at this graph, and it says point E is on a line with a slope of 2 in the xy plane. Let me highlight E right here. Which of the following points is also on the line? All right, in order for you to figure this out, you're going to have to do two things. First, find the coordinates of E, and then use slope to figure out what the change in Y is going to be. I know that may sound a little bit um, abstract for you right now, but let me just sh show you the data table and then just try to explain it. The easiest way that I have found to do this is to just set up a, a simple uh, t-chart like this. You're going to have all your x-coordinates here, all of your y-coordinates here, and let me remind you of what uh, what this means. x represents any number that's horizontal, y will represent any number that is vertical, and so the first thing that I want us to plot then is e. So let's look at it. e is located right here, over 2 on the x and down 1 on the y, negative 1. Pay attention to that because it's below the line. So x resides, or it lives, on 2 and negative 1. That's where it resides. So that would be over 2, down 1 is the coordinate of v. If we're going to figure out which point is also on that line, meaning is it a, or is it b, or is it c, or is it d, we've got to use slope in order to do that. Now, the easiest way that I have found to do this is start on the x-axis and just move over 1. This is going to mean that we're moving um, over uh, 1 point to 3. We're then going to move from 3 to 4. We will then move over to 5. So this is 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now pay attention to this carefully. We're given the slope of 2. And I'm going to write that right up here, positive 2. It's not negative 2. It could be, which would mean that we'd be like moving down the graph, but it is actually positive 2. So what we're going to do to figure out what the new y is for a coordinate of x3 comma something, and then for 4, um, x comma something, and 5 is to simply add positive 2 to the number. Now watch. Negative 1 plus positive 2 gives us 1. Let's do the same thing again. Let's add positive 1 plus this change of 2. This is going to give us 3. Let's do the same thing down here if we could. We're going to add the slope of 2, because they gave us the slope of 2, remember, and it's positive. So now 3 plus 2 is going to give us 5. We have got to figure out which of these points also hits that line. Well, look at A. Look at point A with me. That is living on x0, comma 3. So let's write that in as one of our answers. x is always the first coordinate, 0, comma 3. Do you see 0, comma 3 as any one of our coordinates in here? I don't think so either. It's not there. Let's look at B now. Where is B located? B is located at 4, 3. That's over 4, up 3. So let's write that in here. Our x goes first, 4, 3. Do you see that in our data table? You sure do. It's right here. Therefore, B has got to be one of the points on our line. Okay, I hope that was not too abstract uh, for you in my explanation. If I need to rework that one, by all means, please uh, send me an email and say that 39 just was not working for me, and I'll try to figure out another way to do it, okay? Thanks so much. Let's do 40.